ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here to make you believe that communicating what you believe is essential if you want to be a citizen of the world. A little about myself. I have a blog on food because something I'm passionate about is food. But to be honest, I don't know that many boys my age who aren't passionate about food. My blog started a few years ago when my parents and I were eating at a restaurant. I was enjoying the whole restaurant experience and I want to describe it and share it with others. Today I continue to write my blog. However, writing a blog isn't that easy. To constantly keep everything updated, and that's a lot of work. There are a few other problems I had with it. One of them being is that I would get teased for writing a blog on food, which didn't make me feel that cool or proud of what I was doing. Sometimes I'd be afraid that my friends would find it. It felt as if I had a dirty little secret. Just because something isn't accepted the way you'd like it to doesn't mean you should give it up. It took a lot of effort to keep it up, but today I'm proud I did, and happy. Saying what you truly believe is sometimes difficult. For example, if you want to fit into a certain group, you tend to say what the people in that group want you to say. But that's completely destroying your self-expression. A few days ago, I was viewing the audience that looks at my blog, and I saw that I had over 1,000 page views from Israel, which kind of surprised me. As I further examined my blog, I found a comment from a person in Israel that said simply, thank you. That it felt good that my work was being acknowledged by someone I didn't know and who lived in a place far away. It continues to fascinate me that there are people on the other side of the world whom my words are influencing. This is why we share ideas, to influence and support. By 2035, I, can ho I hope we can all communicate our ideas without being scared. So share what you believe, because it can change the world.